is the Bison Football Show with Coach Matt Entz. Brought to you by Gate City Bank and Pepsi. Mission accomplished game number one for Matt Entz and his North Dakota State football team as the Bison welcomed the Great Danes from New Albany to the Fargo Dome. And Bison Nation came out in force. The flags were flying in the tailgate lots. And NDSU, with a dominant defensive effort, gets the job done, beating U Albany 28 to 6. And we welcome you into the Bison Football Show. Jeff Colhane here with the head coach, Matt Entz. Coach, congratulations. You and I talked before the game. You said this kind of had a, a first ever game type feel of it for you, even a little bit of, a, of an emotional type setting to a certain degree. What, what was the day like overall? It was just the fact that we we're going to have a full crowd. We had tailgating out there today. It was, you couldn't ask for better weather. Uh, and just the excitement of our players, the, we wore you know, the throwbacks. Uh, there was just a lot of positive energy today and reminded me a little bit of, of 2019 when I'm, the first game I got to run out you know, of the stadium, uh, leading the team out to, to the field. And so just kind of a, a throwback moment, and it was fun. Uh, our kids were, were excited. I was excited uh, throughout the day. Yep. Speaking of that, you see the, the throwbacks right here honoring the 1965 NDSU football team led by Daryl Mudra, first ever national championship team at North Dakota State. Pretty cool stuff. I know the guys were fired up to they do were. it. And this is something that is important to you, the continuing uh, education and honoring yeah. of the past of this football program. No question. Uh, you know, we want our guys to understand that this program has been winning a lot of football games for decades now. And, you know, Coach Mudra, who uh, kind of got this thing rolling back in, you know, 1965 with the national championship, and then they won another one in 67. I think they won, wore this jersey until 1974. So uh, there's a lot of victories in, in, in that style of jersey. And I think anytime we can educate our players on the history, the tradition of this place, I think it just gets them to buy in just a little bit more. And uh, that's a, it's a unique yeah. thing to see. Yeah, they look, they look great. They certainly looked apart in a big time way. Well, let's talk about some of the first half moments, first half highlights for you. you late in the first half, you're able to get some turnovers overall and mm -hmm. then put the, uh, the the football in the end zone, go up 14 nothing. pretty impressive pass by your uh, first game starting quarterback, Quincy Patterson, the second, and even better catch from Josh Babich in traffic. It was. Josh made a tremendous catch uh, in the end zone there, and the ball was put only where he was going to catch it, so that was a big-time throw by Quincy. Uh, you know, defensively, one of the things that we challenged our kids with, uh, when you look back at the spring or, or spring of 21 season, we weren't able to be opportunistic as much as we'd like to with creating some turnovers. And so to see us get the ball and put the ball on the ground and create some of those ball disruptions was really a positive step today. How'd you feel about your overall, uh, through the first 30 minutes of play at least? I know the end of the first half yep. did not go the way you would have liked. Really the only miscue defensively glaring yeah. uh, overall. But uh, your, your offensive effort in the first half seemed like a first game early but you obviously got into a rhythm and got things cooking at the end. We did. Uh, you know, I think we talked to our team at halftime. One, we got to do a better job of finishing out the half. Uh, I think we took the, the foot off the gas a little bit with 11 seconds left to let them complete that long 67-yard play in cover two. Uh, that shouldn't happen. And then, uh, you know, offensively in the first half, we just got to, you know, we need more third and shorts. We're in too many second and long, first and long, first and XL. Uh, it gets tough. It's tough on Tyler Roll. It's tough on us to convert and, and keep the ball moving. And so I think we can, I know we can clean some things up and we will this week. Yep. Halftime score 14 to 6. Let's take a look at our first half highlights brought to you by Gate City Bank. Bull four makes one man miss. Oh, fumble the football. He fumbled it. It's loose. He fumbled it. And the Bison say they have it. And they to transfer. This is Johnson on second down. Kobe Johnson with a seam to the outside and pushed out of bounds. Right at the midfield strike. The ball at the 26-yard line. Lewis out of the game. Ganella makes a nice cut. Dom Ganella to the 10 before he's knocked out of bounds. Dome. Ganella walks in. Touchdown, Bison. Line. Under Cuffler floats and intercepted by Dawson Weber. Weber. Shakes off a man, a penalty play. A couple of them have been thrown. Weber's still on his feet as he's out of bounds. 
26 seconds to go in the half. Patterson to the end zone. Nice Caught. throw. Touchdown, Bison. What Babich. a throw. What a throw. Boy, he stood in there, very confident, unleashed it. What a dart. Well, a fun look at the first half highlights brought to you by Gate City Bank. Our first half stats brought to you by Nodak Insurance Company. And uh, you take away that last play, you've outgained them mm -hmm. in the first half. Uh, even with uh, a first you know, game starting quarterback and finding that rhythm overall, how did you feel after the, the first 30 minutes? What was your message uh, at that point in time? We need to be more consistent offensively, just get out of our own way a little bit. Uh, wanted to lean on our offensive line. We feel like we have a veteran group up there, very experienced. Uh, get our run game going. Um, I thought Quincy did a really good job early in the game of, of taking the easy access throws, taking what was given to him, not trying to force it. And it was just a matter of time before one of our receivers was able to break a tackle. And you saw some of that later in the game. And you know, just keep taking those hitches, those stops, those dime routes. Um, and, and that five-yard throw can get converted into a 15-yard game. We have some some talented skill kids out there. And then you know the, the run game just. It, it's just have to be consistent. We got to just stay with it, you know. We, we and we did, and, and you saw, you know, our perimeter run play, uh, you know, really started to take off in the second half. Yep. Coach teased it right there. A uh, a second half start with a bang on the very first play. That's coming up next here on the Bison Football Show. Better starts with convenience. Our 43 convenient locations make running errands easy. Better starts with trust. You can trust that your pre-approval is guaranteed on closing day, which is one less thing to worry about. Better starts with saving you money. No ATM fees and no minimum balances mean how you spend your money is up to you. Because at Gate City Bank, better starts with you. And this means better ways to brighten your day. Gate City Bank, for a better way of life. Powerful and playful, delicate and precise, bold and carefree. It's the way you move, and it moves us. To deliver care for your whole family, to provide options beyond the expected, to help you leave pain in the past and find your way forward. Orthopedics and sports medicine at Sanford Health. Health lives here. Coach teased it as we ended our first segment here on the Bison Football Show brought to you by Gate City Bank. And I know you talked at halftime. You wanted to see one of your guys. Let's break a tackle. Let's yep. make something happen. Well, you got that on the very first play. Dominic Ganella with a 75-yard yep. touchdown run. 
fireworks. That's that's the burst you're looking for out of the locker room. In a it big was. Time it was. We uh, pin and pull scheme, uh, and and did a great job. And you know, uh, I I'd, I'd be remiss if I didn't say you know great you know effort and energy by Christian Watson getting downfield and and you know I think that's a, a great representation of the closeness of this group right now. I mean, making sure that whatever it takes to get us in the end zone, help us get on top. Our yeah. kids are ready to go. Yeah, Dominic Anella. It's a fun story. He's he's a sophomore now, yep. but we know about what he did in the spring. He was the, the leading rusher, first leading rusher as a true freshman for the Bison since the great Lamar Gordon back in 1998. Goes and plays baseball yep. in the summertime. His parents both live in Fargo right now and are here supporting him. And he's obviously uh, coming through for you on the field in a big time way. This great family, interesting story, interesting young man. It is. It is. You know, you, you talk about the first thing people want to talk about is minor. What a, what a summer job, <laughs> going to play minor league baseball, and uh, went down there for about six weeks, uh, had success, uh, and mom and dad were down there. His brother goes to Arizona State, um, and it just always worked out really well. But when he came back, you could tell he put a lot of energy into getting stronger, especially in his lower body, and, yeah. and you can see his ability to break tackles, and, and uh, he's got pretty good speed, too, when he yeah. needs it. Coach, some of these defensive numbers in the second half are, are mind-blowing. Had to put a smile uh, on the face of the head coach as a yeah. defensive guy. Yeah, definitely. You know, when we, when we looked at this team, and, and Albany's a, a, an outstanding group, spent a lot of time watching their 2019 film, because I still think, you know, the, the, the spring was a little bit unique for everybody and I don't think it was a, a a solid representation of who they really were and you go back to 19 and 41 touchdowns by uh, their quarterback who is, is a really good football player 1200 yards by their back we knew it was going to be a, a they were a good football team from a great league and we were going to have to play our best and that was what was fun about this challenge today um, new team coming into the dome uh, a, a lot of energy surrounding it. We knew we needed to play well. Yeah, you wanted turnovers. You got turnovers. Yeah, plus two in the turnover margin today, which was a uh, positive. That, really good. You have a great chance to win, and any time we were plus one, uh, uh, analytics say you have a great chance to win. But plus two, uh, that's really good. And our guys were very opportunistic, and we and we allowed our offense to get in some short field situations, which I think is positive. Yep, twenty-eight to six, the final. Let's take a look at our second half highlights presented by Gate City Bank. Already had. His name called, forcing a fumble as Canella bounces to the outside and look out. Dom Canella, past midfield, still on his feet down the sideline. On the first play of the second half, it's a touchdown. There's a late penalty flag thrown, and it could be on a block. Touchdown, North Dakota State. Under Cuffler, down he goes. Eli Mostart. With a sack. Everybody still got a free year, so to speak, after COVID from last year. As there's a completed plat pass, excuse me, uh, to Watson, who spins away. Did that so frequently in 20. Under Cuffler, under trouble, and Thomas gets to him. The pride of Bismarck, North Dakota, Brayton Thomas. Five. Three man front. Under Cuffler, airs it out. That's intercepted. intercepted. It's picked off. So it's inside the seven on the outside. That's Hunter Lipke in for a touchdown. Bison. Hunter Lipke with his first score of 2021. Now those second half highlights brought to you by Gate City Bank. Our final game stats presented by Nodak Insurance Company. Great numbers overall. Time of possession. Mm -hmm. You hold them to 0 of 11 on third down. And as we mentioned, the defensive effort of the second half was dominant. It was complimentary football. Yeah. And I thought our special teams uh, played well. We had a big return that got called back. But you still see the explosiveness and the ability of that group to shorten the field or flip the field. So um, there's things that we can definitely improve on. We will continue to work at it. Uh, but pleased with, with game number one. Yep. Dominic Ganella, impressive. He's our NODAC Insurance Company player of the game. It was exciting, extremely exciting. I say, I mean, last year scoring a touchdown in here was crazy, but this year, like, I didn't even know what to do. It was like my blood was pumping like crazy. The student section was going wild. It was exciting. Dominic Canella, 75-yard touchdown run. He led the charge, career-long run, yeah. and as he mentioned, showed that speed up the near sideline. Great balance he, as well. He did. He uh, outstanding run, outstanding day. But uh, you know, anytime a running back gets player of the game, the first per, first people they're gonna 
thank is going to be the offensive line and our tight ends. Uh, our, the tight ends, the O line did it, had a had a good day, solid day, and uh, they enabled our backs to get after it and for us to have over 200 plus yards rushing. Yep, 13 carries, 135 yards, two scores for Ganella here this afternoon. Well, everybody wants to know about the quarterback Quincy Patterson the second. Don Mizzo has our Olaf Anderson feature story when we return next. Teamwork, talent, dedication, leadership. These values that win championships on the field also build community, improve lives, A difference every single day for you for our neighbors for our community for a better way of life gate city bank to know about the quarterback and we saw Quincy Patterson the second for the first time in a Bison uniform today get to know him more here in our Olaf Anderson feature story here's Dom Izzo for the first time in his collegiate career Patterson won the competition to be the starting quarterback the initial emotion was overwhelming like I've had that conversation three this is my fourth time having that conversation and the other three times you know I was on a, the negative end of it so you know it's kind of like I said, when they, when he told us, it didn't initially hit me just because I knew how like probably how Cam was feeling, considering I had that conversation three times before. And but it, you know, was, I'm definitely confident now. Patterson comes to Fargo after some highlight plays at Virginia Tech, mostly with his legs. His arm and his accuracy is what fans are wondering about. Like during practice, had countless reps. So I mean, I'm just excited for people to see what you know the coach is seeing in me, and you know what other people have seen. So I'm excited for that. He inherits the toughest job in the FCS, where three former Bison quarterbacks are playing in the NFL. His head coach believes he's ready for what comes with being the NDSU signal caller. I think he cherishes that pressure, and that's part of the reason and part of the luster of him coming to NDSU is because of our success at the quarterback position. I've never ran out of helmet either. Uh, when I was here in the spring, I was always like lagging behind, so I never got to run through. But uh, I mean, it'd definitely be different. Uh, I mean, coming from you know Virginia Tech, I just can't wait to see what this one's like. Well, Coach, everybody got their mm -hmm. first look at him. You guys have been able to know him over the last seven months overall, and it felt like he uh, he performed pretty well, pretty seamlessly for you today in his first game. He did. He 12 or 16. He operated the huddle. Uh, he got in and out of it, communicated well. Uh, has a lot of poise, but you can tell he's been under the, the bright lights before and uh, in his experience at his previous school. But uh, really excited in, in general about the whole quarterback room and, and how they work together. Uh, Cam and Cole and and JJ and Peter, those guys, along with Coach Hedberg, just you know, they're they're just great prep mm -hmm. preparation in that room. And so part of the reason why he had success, he was confident and ready to go, and uh, did a great job for us. Yep. Time now for our great clips, great question of the game. Check out the WDAY Facebook page and drop Coach a question every single week. This one from Randy in Wapaton. We appreciate that, Randy. How was your health 
coming out of spring. Quick turnaround time as we've talked yep. about. Overall, feel pretty good about your group right now? We do. We had one injury from the, from the spring that uh, is going to prevent a young man from playing this fall. Uh, we got a, a, a couple nicks and bruises from fall camp. Uh, no one that'll be out over the course of the whole season. We should get a couple guys back here shortly. Hunter Brosio will be the, the one that we hopefully get back here in another three or four weeks. And um, There's always tweaks and things like that that we have to manage. Uh, our, our medical staff and Sanford people really do a tremendous job in, in that area, and we're, we're fortunate to have their expertise. Yep. Coming up on the Bison Football Show, our Peterson Pharmacy future crop of Bison. Get Coach's thoughts on the next opponent, Valparaiso, coming in. Stay tuned. Another rock and roll weekend. Burgers, better with Pepsi. Bison Nation, this is head football coach Matt Entz. With all that goes into leading the Bison to victory, the last thing I want to worry about is the clothing I need to look and feel my best. I shop at Halberstadt's West Acres because I trust that they provide me with everything I need for meetings at the office, press conferences, and casual Bison attire. With plenty of options for sport coats, shirts, denim, suits, shoes, and accessories, I'm confident that when I need anything and everything menswear, Halberstadt's West Acres has me covered. Since NoDak Insurance Company started, we've gone from paying by mail to paying online. Your proof of insurance in the glove box has changed to a quick tap to our online app. And as new technologies make farming more efficient, our coverage ensures you're always protected. The way we live and work has changed, but our values, service, and commitment have remained the same. NoDak is constantly evolving to meet your insurance needs and deliver answers where and when you need them most. NoDak Insurance Company. Agents with answers. This one's for every sports fan who just spent the entire game explaining to someone the entire game. You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. And hey, welcome back to the Bison Television Show. Well, we always like again to take a peek at who's getting it done. The younger version of the herd, our Peterson Farm Seed future crop of Bison. We take a look at Mandan native Jackson Dutenheffer. Logan Campbell has this piece. A true freshman from Mandan, Jackson Dutenheffer caught the eye of head coach Matt Entz with his size and feel. Now he believes that the defensive tackle fits the Bison mold perfectly. I think it just kind of adds to a, a level of like realization that I'm here and just it kind of continues to push me um, to be the best that I can be. From being one of the top players in North Dakota to one of the newest faces on the Bison, Dutenheffer found himself among some of the best defensive linemen in the FCS. It's a very humbling experience for sure. Um, and I think it's it's just kind of dependent on the person on how they, they take that experience. This is a way to make myself better as not just the football player but as a person. Without losing redshirt eligibility, Dutenheffer now has a chance to play in four games this season, and that's something he won't be taking for granted. It's kind of surreal, um, especially just the level that we're going to be playing at. It's just knowing that the coaches have that level of confidence that you can play at least a few games this year, it, it just really helps out. I'm Logan Campbell reporting. Well, Coach, I know... When we talked about Jackson, he's a four-game rule yep. candidate. It doesn't happen very often for true freshmen uh, along yep. the defensive line. So the Mandan native obviously had a great camp. He's made a great impression on you and Goose and the coaching staff right he, now. He has. He made it. Everyone acknowledged him. The minute he walked on campus, his leadership, his poise, he, he's a mature young man. But physically, 
he's big, strong, and athletic already, and those are the way we like him. And, uh, you know, when we got him, we were pretty excited. He's a real heck of a football player. How tough. I mean, you talk about freshmen that play. Some, you know, why, the further away from the ball, it feels like that's the old adage. Yep. Those, those players are going to have a better chance to play. And he, he physically is, has put the work in, it seems like, to have a shot. He, he does. And he does, a, he does an outstanding job on our scout team right now. Mm -hmm. And then every day, he's lining up against the best, what I consider one of the best offensive line, if not the best offensive line in the country. Yeah. And you just think, I mean, the old adage, iron sharpens iron. And yeah. he's getting better every day. And um, when it comes to that four-game rule, he's definitely a, a young man that I envision will we'll get some reps in during the course of the year. Well, let's take a look to next week. Next Saturday, Gate City Bank Field inside the Fargo Dome, 2.35 p.m. Central kickoff. Our opponent preview brought to you by Gate City Bank. The Beacons from Valparaiso, nickname change, used to be the Crusaders, now the Beacons. Some fun history here. The first ever Division I opponent for NDSU football back in 2004. Mm -hmm. uh, second non-conference game. Yep. This is one of those contests where I know you're really throughout the week, you know, between games one and two, you make a big jump. I know you want to see your guys continue on yep. with the process and, and continue to set the high bar of expectations. We do. We're going to learn from this game. We're going we're gonna to watch it, get through it tomorrow as a staff. Monday we'll get through it as, as a team. Uh, you know, we, our expectations, we're going to continue to improve after every game. We, we want to keep improving all the way until our season's done. Um, there's some things we can clean up penalty-wise today. I thought we had too many. Uh, Coach Jens was probably even responsible for one today, so I need to get it cleaned up a little bit. But um, we'll, we'll, we'll continue to, to put the time and the effort in. And, uh, we take every game serious, and, and, and I know our guys will be ready for next weekend. All right, we talked about your defensive effort, Dominic Canella. Uh, player of the game from Nodak Insurance mm -hmm. Company. Quincy was fantastic as well. Got to mention the Rams. And as you talk about the Rams with wings, you're off, you're, you're wide receivers and, and guys along the perimeter yep. really, really paved the way once again. Culture defining group. They, they do. I mean, everyone is a, pe a part of our run game and our rushing attack. And I saw Phoenix Sproles getting blocks today. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and when we throw those keys and those, those uh, bubble screen or bubbles, you know, that's just perimeter run game. You know, we're just taking advantage of, of numbers out there, and uh, our guys are getting downfield. And uh, you know, old uh, Nash Jensen talks about getting dirty and getting grimy and getting sweaty, <laughs> and, and that's what those guys do. And we go as our as our offensive line goes. And, and there's not a group on our team that emulates what we want to be and who we are better than our offensive line. Yep, Coach. Great job today. Congratulations on the win. Appreciate it. Thank you. There you go. The head coach, Matt Entz. I'm Jeff Colhain. Bison Nation, it was great to see you back inside the Fargo Dome, and Thunder Alley was rocking and rolling as well. A 28-6 win for NDSU over U Albany. Big thanks to our team here at WDAY. We'll talk to you next week once again. Good night, Bison Nation. Today's Bison Football Show with Coach Matt Entz has been presented by Gate City Bank and Pepsi.